The Harry and Meghan show is not here. Nothing to do with them, Sussex is told Coronation. According to a royal authority, Prince Harry and Meghan do not have a place at the coronation. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been informed that they have nothing to do with the king's approaching coronation. The late Princess Diana's butler for 10 years, Paul Burrell, has publicly expressed his opinions regarding the Sussex's upcoming appearance at the coronation this May. I don't want to watch the Harry and Meghan show, I want to watch our king being crowned, Mr. Burrell remarked on behalf of Slingo. It has nothing to do with Harry and Meghan, rather, it has to do with the monarchy, our nation, and something that is more than a thousand years old. Harry really has no place in this. Meghan obviously doesn't have a place in it, he continued about the Duchess, since they are not working members of the royal family, Harry is just the king's son. Due to his position, Mr. Burrell was acquainted with Prince Harry and Prince William when they were young. He stated that it wouldn't really matter if the Duke missed the coronation. When asked if he thought Harry and Meghan would go, he responded, I personally think Harry will go without Meghan. She and her kids, in my opinion, will remain in California. A representative for the Sussexes said earlier this month that the Duke had received an email invitation, ending some rumors about whether the pair would receive an invitation. The couple has often taken jabs at the royal family, which has raised the possibility that the king may not have invited his younger son and daughter-in-law. The pair acknowledged receiving an invitation, but did not state if they would be attending Westminster Abbey on May 6. Their son's birthday falls on the day of the coronation, which a royal expert once suggested may be the ideal excuse for Meghan to skip the event. Charles Ray, a royal analyst who previously appeared on GB News, said. Today is little Archie's fourth birthday. Thus, it's possible that she will remain and take part in the festivities with her kid. The couple's last visit to the UK took place in September 2022. The couple traveled to Europe without their two children to attend a few events that were dear to their hearts. Once Queen Elizabeth II passed away, they decided to extend their vacation so they could both attend the late royal's official funeral in another news. According to sources, Kate's iconic posture reminds viewers of Harry and Meghan's Netflix documentary. According to a specialist, when Kate Middleton, 41, was present at the Commonwealth Day service today, her body language seemed reminiscent of Meghan Markle's presence at the same event in 2019. At the Commonwealth Day service today, Kate Middleton, 41, made an entrance wearing a peplum suit by Erdem and sapphire earrings that once belonged to Princess Diana. Yet an expert said her body language at the service today was as moving. Kate and William were spotted at one point sitting next to King Charles and Queen Camilla, striking a striking resemblance to a stance used at the 2019 Commonwealth Day ceremony. In an almost identical posture to when Meghan Markle and Prince Harry attended the same ceremony four years ago, the Princess of Wales scowled directly at the camera. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's blockbuster Netflix documentaries trailer used this stance last year. In order to make the image of Kate, William, Harry, and Meghan who appear to be rather miserable appear more dramatic, Netflix applied a black and white tint. At the Commonwealth Day service in 2023, Kate struck a similar stance as she had done four years prior. Expert in body language Judy James explained the princess's body language in an exclusive interview with Express.co.uk. Did Kate's memory of the iconic stance from the Netflix documentary haunt her enough today to produce a strikingly similar appearance? Even still, Kate didn't seem tense while attending this royal function, and there were times when she and William appeared to be flirting.